Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Um, so we're gonna present our group project which is uh, object classification, and this slide has been prepared for Sir Muhammad Razif bin Shamsuddin. First, we're gonna go to the my team members, uh, Muhammad Amir Hakim bin Muhammad Nordin, Zawawi bin Zafinas, Muhammad Hazib bin Ratu Ilham, and me, Muhammad Irham Zafran bin Muhammad Nata. So next, um, this is our agenda. Uh, first, we're gonna go to the introduction and scope of study. Second, we're gonna go through the problem background and objective. Third is demonstration and experiment. And fourth is uh, architecture and summary. I'm gonna go to the introduction. Uh, an objective classification project using a CIFAR 10 uh, dataset. Uh, the neural network will be loaded with the dataset and then it will recognizing the data and will make a prediction when given test data. Our scope is to is import data set from TensorFlow library. It has 10 labels of objects. And the data will be divided to train set and test set. We use a 32 times 32 pixels and three color channel. Uh, for our problem, uh, uh, for our problem, uh, our problem is to classify image in this data set to match with uh, the label for the respective object. And second, our problem is uh, to build a high accuracy and well-performing image classification algorithm. Uh, our objective is to experimenting on the ability of neural network in tasks of recognition image and classifying object best based on data set that have been chosen. Uh, another objective uh, is uh, to experimenting on the architectures and models of neural networks. My name is Amirul Hakim and I will proceed to the next part of our presentation which is the demonstration of our system. So in this part, uh, I will brief uh, on the our project source code and making predictions to test the neural network that we will build. So this is our source code and we develop the system uh, on the Google Colab. So the first step is we import packages where we will be importing packages that we will be used in the project. So the packages that we will use is TensorFlow, NumPy, Matplotlib, TensorFlow.keras, and sklearn.matrix. And the version of TensorFlow that we are using is 2.9.2. Next, we will uh, load the dataset from TensorFlow library and the dataset that we use is C410 and it is available in the library we just load it from the internet then uh, we will distribute it to two sets which is the train and the test set so this is the dataset next we will uh, label for the dataset uh, to describe and explore the test and training data so C410 has 10 outputs or 10 class labels which are airplane, automobile, bird, cat, deer, dog, frog, horse, sheep and truck. So then uh, we will try to describe our train uh, dataset with the length of 50,000 and the shape is uh, 32 by 32. For the test uh, dataset is 10,000 is the 32 by 32 of uh, pixel and the length is 10,000. Next, uh, we will display one sample data from train uh, set uh, to verify that it is a proper image. So this is the image that we plot and it is uh, 32 by 32 pixels and the range is 0 to 250. Next, we pre-process the data by dividing the values by 255. This is done uh, in order to scale them to range of 0 to 1. So this code here is the reduced pixel value where we divide them by 255. And then next, we flatten the label value. After the process is done, uh, we will verify the data where we have formatted to check whether they are correctly in format. 
So we will call uh, 25 images from the train uh, test, a uh, train set, and we will plot n to check whether they are labeled correctly. As you can see, the label is correctly on the images. The next part is where we build the model. So in this demonstration, I will use one of our model, which is the model we use uh, CNN architecture. So as you can see, the Conv2D layers, best normalization layers and max pool in 2D we will be used. So this part of the layers is the feature extraction layers. And these two here is the hidden layers. And the last one is the output layer with the activation of softmax and other layers that we that I have mentioned before using relu activation. Next that is the our model summary where the this part here is we can see the summary of our model, the total layer. After building the model is done, we will compile the model. And uh, in this uh, architecture, in this model, we use optimizer Adam. And then we will train the model. We use the function uh, model.fit. And we have set the epochs that the architecture will learn is 10 epochs. And after the iteration have done, the accuracy that we got in this experiment, in this model is 92%. And it, that is uh, really high. After the iteration is done, we will test and evaluate the accuracy. And then we plot the figure for uh, better understanding on the accuracy and loss function of the model. As you can see, uh, the left side here is the loss function where we can see the decreasing line that shows that the loss function is decreasing over time, over epoch, while the accuracy is increasing over, over the epoch, which is uh, showing the model that we built is in great form and is uh, good. Next is the predicting part. In this part, uh, I will make some predictions in order to test our architecture or our model, whether it is able to make predictions uh, correctly or incorrectly so <coughs> this is uh, the selecting image from the test data set uh, so we will test by selecting the first image from the data set and this is the part of uh, we where we display and load the image this is uh, we will load the predicted label and this we will load the original label and uh, this code here will print will and display whether the original label is and predicted label is so we can compare whether it is correctly predicted or not so let's start with uh, the first image in the data set as you can see uh, the original label is get and predicted label is get so uh, the first prediction is correct next we will try another image let's say we try 45 image and the result is original label is struck and predicted label is struck so this prediction is also true and we will try again for the last prediction we will try the image of 300 and as you can see the, the third one is original label is wrong and predicted label is wrong so this shows that uh, the model able to predict uh, correctly for uh, the test data set that we have uh, given after the predicting part is done, we will then do the confusion metric. 
So in this part, uh, we will try to plot the coefficient matrix in order to define the performance of uh, the model that we have built before. And as you can see, the graph here, the coefficient matrix here shows the uh, degree or the values of the correctly predicted against the incorrectly one. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Hazib Beratul Daham. So next we proceed to the experiment. The first experiment is we are using a CNN model with the ADAM optimizer. So the result of the accuracy for the first experiment is based on the first model is high, which is 92%. And for the loss function evaluation shows that the loss is decreasing by time. Next is the second experiment. We'll be using the CNN model with the ADAMS optimizer. For the result of the accuracy on the first experiment, based on the second model, is the highest, which is 95%. And for the loss function evaluation, shows that the loss is decreasing by time. For the third experiment, we'll be using the BPNN model with the ADAMS optimizer. For the result of the accuracy on the first experiment, based on the third, is 52% a low accuracy for the loss function evaluation shows that the loss is decreasing by time so for the last experiment we'll be using the BPNN model with Adam optimizer so the result of the accuracy for the first experiment based on the fourth model is 45% which is the lowest and for the loss function evaluation so that the loss is decreasing by time Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Zawi Bizafinas So basically we are at architecture part So at this part I will show one of the four architecture that we have done Two models that we have experiment on is Is using CNN which is Convolutional Neural Network And another two is using DNN Dense Neural Network So for your information the model that on the slide is using CNN, Convolution Neural Network. So for the output neuron for this model is 10 as you can see on the slide. So for dense 1 is referred to the output. So the output is 10. Then in this model there are 3 hidden layer as you can see on the slide. Below the flattened row. So this is 1, 2 and 3. So, for the lastly, is, as for the future extraction layers, there are 15 layers consist of Conv2D, Max Pool and Batch Normalization layers. So, for the summary, we can summarize that this research is to understand how machine learning works and image classification achieve. The architecture that we experiment on various on the models and optimize it in searching for the best one in order to classify object in the dataset. We succeed in completing this project and achieve the objective. Thank you.